<sighs> this is the hardest one of all. Ann Rutherford is gone with the wind, dust in the wind. And speaking of Kansas, but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. What can I say about Ann Rutherford? Like the South, and unlike Jesus, she won't rise again. I know. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. It's not very Christian, and I'm not your dear. Well, yeah, Ann, Ann Rutherford. She played Scarlett's youngest sister, Corrine O'Hara. She made the line, Mother, can't I stay up for the big ball? I'm 13 now. She made that line her own, even though it was a nothing little part. The film was iconic, and she held her head high, except when she was Mickey Rooney's girlfriend. She dug herself a hole, and she stood in it. Now, word is, Anne got the part of Kareen because little Judy Garland, first choice, was filming The Wizard of Oz. Do you see the irony in there? Judy, not in Gone with the Wind, because she was in the middle of Wizard of Oz. I get the chill bumps thinking about that. I remember Clark Gable took Anne under his wings and offered her a mustache ride. One of his strengths, he said. Anne responded, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Gable was furious. That's my line! She nodded, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Later, during the accusations, it came out a butler did it. And she told her boyfriend, Mickey, but it was dropped because, well, you have to be this tall to ride. I tried carrying her up the stairs, and I dropped her. I lost her in the lights. She died in my arms of embarrassment. Yeah, hey, did you get a shot of me drinking this nice, refreshing diet cola with a lemon wedge in it? I did. It's my endorsement. Gone with the wind. I have to say, uh, Mikey, if I can call you that, unless you prefer Omeb, I have never seen the movie Gone with the Wind, which for years... What's wrong with was, you? <laughs> was the, I have good taste. For years, it was the biggest box office um, uh, draw ever, up until recently. So Gone with the Wind, never saw the movie, never read the book. But I know, you know, I knew it was about the South. I knew uh, Clark Abel, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I knew about that because, you know, I'm very plugged into the pop culture. You think that, huh? I right, have that no the idea South, what you're talking the about. The Civil, me neither. The South, the Civil War. That was a long time ago. That was even before... Isn't that why they shot Abraham Lincoln in the head? Yeah, I think it had something to do with it. As I said, when I eulogized Abraham Lincoln, he was the only Republican who had a lock on the black vote. Because <laughs> he freed the slaves, you see. <laughs> and on that note, we're done. We're done. And you know what? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.